All right, guys, lighting's bad. It's dark out, but major Wii haul. We got this bikini zombie game. I think it's like a $30 game. Mario Kart, two Wii Sports resorts. Uh, Wii Sports Loose, which I think I have a case at home. Wii Sports, everything's complete. It was 40 bucks. Um, yeah, pretty insane Wii haul there. Let's go. The good old Nintendo Wii. We figured, you know, with 2021 coming to a close, it'd be awesome to do a Wii exclusive hunting video because it's had such an impact on our reselling game in 2021. You can find Nintendo Wii stuff everywhere. The market's kind of volatile, but it is still the easiest console to find in 2021. The Nintendo Wii, whether you hate it or you love it, it's a reseller's gold mine out there. I know the market has kind of dropped a little bit on Wii stuff, but a little tip for you resellers out there. If you bundle Wii stuff together, it sells for more than it would if you pieced it out. It doesn't make any sense, but these next couple sales you're gonna see are us bundling stuff together and we made some pretty awesome profit on Wii stuff. All right, kind of going big today. I spent 106.98 at the pawn shop. More than I would like to spend, of course, but I got a Wii and it's got the lids. We'll get home and do the old game test. It needs cleaned up. You can see some yellowing there, but for the most part, the console's pretty clean. And then I got a PS3 Slim 320 gig model. For the most part, it's pretty clean. A little crust here, but that, that'll clean up nice and easy. So um, I think pretty easy. If I put some games with them, I should be able to get uh, probably 215 out of this. Uh, so doubling up easy uh but i definitely won't triple up but i just didn't want to leave them lie that's a pretty good uh profit there guys the console game continues to be on fire i got a wii here i gotta get it home and test it doesn't have the tops but i do have extras of those uh so not a big deal there 30 bones these sell all day long for about 60 bucks hey guys looks like we're hitting them after a restock no console here 8.99 two games looks like these sports is in there games. We'll do a quick run here. We're in the park disc only. I'll check all these cases in a little bit as well. I think this goes for a little bit. No manual. Smash Brothers. Manual. Manual didn't feel like it was in there. No manual on Zelda. So for sure we'll be getting this with these sports. But I'm gonna check some of these other games and uh, I'll get some footage on my way out. All right guys, pretty good haul today and stuff, except for the Wii games were marked $5.99. Usually they're $3.99 in there, but we got E for Speed, Pro Street, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Smash Brothers, Sonic, and Mario Kart. I got $41.28 in it, which is a little rich, but I also got this bag for $8.99, which is part of that $41.28 with Wii Sports, some Wii Motes. So I'd say, let's say 10 bucks on average a game. So there's at least 50, 20 out of Wii Sports. We'll take it to 70, the Wii ones. I think we turn, we double up easy there, probably a little bit more. So we started a Wii box that we put accessories, games. So then when we find a console, we're like, hey, let's bundle this with the console, get some more money. And we like to bundle things that are, that are bangers that will help move the console. You know, your Mario's, your Zelda's, and let's not forget Wii Sports. So. We put that, all that stuff in that box, and then a couple days later, we were at the thrift store and we found a console. Bundle that up, make more money. Oh, and if you didn't notice, that console Robert was just speaking of also had a copy of Wii Sports. So we are just sitting on a backlog of Wii Sports. They, like Robert already said, it's just a console mover. People want a Wii, they want Wii Sports. Peanut butter and jelly. We just keep finding Wii's $24.99, same thrift store this week. And it has Wii Sports with it. The other one did too. The last one was $39.99. I'm not complaining though. We just find Wii's all the damn time. It's out of control. This was not only a killer find because we got cool runnings on DVD, which I mean, everybody should have cool runnings on DVD, but this Pokemon Pikachu Game Boy, I know this is a Wii episode, but we found Wii stuff at this stop, so we have to include it. And uh, we got the Simpsons game. Now, 
On the Wii, it sells for a decent amount. You really want to keep your eyes peeled for that game on PS3 and Xbox 360 because it sells for quite a bit more. It's like a $30, $40 game. But then Strikers, which isn't as good as a GameCube Strikers, but it's still an okay Strikers and it's a Wii game. Mario Kart, which was just the Mario Kart case and surprise, surprise, Wii Sports was inside. But you guys get the drift. We're finding this stuff all over the place. And then nice little cherry on top, a little Pikachu Game Boy Color. Yeah, God. This is getting this is getting exciting. All right, guys, in here at the consignment shop, did a little bit of a restock here. Nothing too crazy, but we'll for sure be taking that. This is a great bundler. This is new as well. Is that the CIB? Yep, it is. Go ahead and get that. I'm gonna check these cases because these are new from the other day. That's what we're gonna go with. You probably noticed in our hunting videos and this one that we check every single case. Here's a little tip for all you people that are resellers out there, check cases. Cause yeah, a lot of that stuff we didn't pick up, it's common game, it's not worth anything. But if you open up a case and it's Wii Sports or it's a Zelda, get it just for that and then you can sell it loose, you can make money. Just like in that prior clip, Mario Kart, Wii Sports was in it. <laughs> Easy money. Awesome find today, guys. We are leaving the Salvation Army. We got a black a Wii, everything is in there, and we got a Wii in the box. Everything is in there but Wii Sports. Total spend of $65.98. Finding consoles at thrift stores is hard enough. Finding a complete in box one at a Salvation Army, pretty intense, and there was another Wii right beside it, the black one. You guys seen the footage. Problem was, though, this Wii really wasn't complete in box per se, because it was the Wii Sports edition and Wii Sports was not inside. But a couple days later, just going through the thrift, minding my own damn business. Found another copy of Wii Sports. Plus, we already had plenty, we still have plenty of copies of Wii Sports, but it was just kind of fate. It felt like that that week was, it was the week of the Nintendo Wii. Hell, it's been a year of the Nintendo Wii. gonna get this. I don't even care what it's worth. This might be one of the funniest video game accessories that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, we got the baby and babysitting mama for $2.99. I just picked it up because this might be a standalone video. I don't know why I think this is so funny, but it's funny. And I kind of want to watch Robert play this game. I'm I'm not gonna play this. I'm not gonna play it. You're gonna play it, dude. I bet you're really gonna like it. This looks terrible. Leaving the pawn shop, guys. 44 bucks. I got a Wii. The reason I decided to get it, all the manuals and Wii Sports are in there. I think you can probably see it. It is dark outside. And there could be a game in the Wii. We don't know. Two controllers. It was $39.99 for the Wii. The extra Wii mode was $3.99. I don't know if that was a good pull or not, but I, I wanted to get Wii Sports, so yeah, there you go. All right, guys, leaving an out-of-town thrift store here. I got uh, two controllers. It's kind of dirty. This needs cleaned up a bit. Game inside. Uh, PlayStation 1. I got that for $24.99. Um, got all the cords and everything. I got a Wii. Missing a sensor bar and everything. It looks pretty clean. Always could be a game inside. I got that for $29.99. But I also got... Sorry for the piss poor filming. We got Mario Kart, five ninety nine. Got this table tennis game. This game's just badass. Probably not even worth what I paid for. But five ninety nine. Here's a couple bangers though. Edge of Time, Spider Man. It's got the manual CIB five ninety nine. No manual on this, but it's Amazing Spider Man two goes for a little bit. This game goes for like thirty. And 
I got Lord of the Rings Conquest. This game goes for a little bit as well. So that PS1, it didn't work. You would think this would have happened to us a lot more than it does though. It's weird, the luck we have with consoles working is it's pretty dang good. But you'll notice I was able to piece it out and get most of what I paid. I think it was $24.99 and I sold the power supply for it because it's a very unique power supply, very different than the uh, original uh, PS1. And then I was able to sell the console for parts and I think I recouped like 22 of the $24.99 I spent on it. So it wasn't, it was worth rolling the dice is what I'm getting at, but there, there, little man. Guys, I, I think I, I really need to stop, but uh, I just can't. Another week, 30 bucks, I just can't leave them. Fat PS2 for 35. Mm, I don't need any more of these right now, but it is what it is. All right, we had to sneak in one more yes. hunting video before the end of 2021, and we wanted to make it, it was actually your idea, yes. to make it Wii exclusive because it has been such a big part of all of our game hunting this year. We find Wii stuff all over the place, and I know some of the comments is like, well, it wasn't Wii exclusive, you were talking about a Game Boy and a PS3. <laughs> yeah. We found that stuff with other Wii yeah. stuff, so that's why it was included, but it was mostly Wii stuff, and it's crazy, I know the Wii market has dropped, and it was really hot during like the peak of COVID, Yeah, but still, like, bundling and finding all the stuff for cheap we're still making a, a ton of money and profit yeah just from we stuff that people are throwing away basically well i think that's what i like about our hunting videos though is you got to be looking for what is available out there yes. of course we love nothing more than finding nes games or genesis games or whatever Ooh. but if that is what you're going out looking for you are going to be disappointed you're going to get burnt out you're never going to want to do it so that is why i think You've said the you know the Wii market has settled a bit and it has, but it's still available. That's the key yes, to all of it. It's still out there. Yeah. Like, games for two to five bucks yep. and then that flips. If you can just double your money, get it sell a game for ten bucks that you got for five bucks, that's five bucks in your pocket. Yeah. Like that's yep. easy money. I know it's not crazy. I know it's not like finding Pokemon on the DS and selling it for hundred dollars. But it's still that adds up quickly. But and while you're there and hoping you find Pokemon, you might as well grab some other things yeah, along you the might way as well. to fund your trip and your time and all those type of things because time is money. So that's why we've kind of changed our scope to not only Wii stuff, but some toys and some movies, things that we know things about, because you gotta try making a little money every stop that you go to. Yes. You know, but kind of my rule of thumb when game hunting, if I'm not making at least thirty bucks an hour doing it. It's not worth my time. Whoa, and that's like that's a good like perspective to yeah. have to be like, cause you could spend hours just wandering through thrift yep. stores looking stuff up and not get anything. Yep. If but, you don't find anything, get in, get out. You yeah, know? and that and, and and that's what I do. And then you know I'll, by the third, fourth store, I usually find something. It's like oh cool, that's like fifty bucks. So yeah, yeah so it pays go. off. Yeah. So let's talk about the math from this episode. I know this one's kind of shorter than our other hunting videos, but it was mostly just we stuff. So we spent a total of five hundred eighty nine dollars and sixty seven cents. Which isn't that much, but for total sales, one thousand three hundred and sixteen dollars and twenty-one cents. Yeah. So basically double. Yep. And then we factor out of that sales total fifteen percent, you know, eBay fees, yep. yada yada yada, and uh, you know that takes almost two hundred bucks off of that. So it drops it down to eleven $1 hundred eighteen dollars and seventy-eight cents. You factor out what we paid, the five eighty-nine, whatever it was, and you get a net profit of five hundred twenty-nine dollars. 11 cents just from basically nintendo wii stuff yeah i will say that one of the big tipping points was that game boy yeah but it was mostly wii stuff yep. 500 bucks profit from nintendo wii yeah. stuff yeah see what i mean every little bit counts that game boy was unique because i i honestly didn't film me getting it in the store i just filmed out in the car yeah. you probably noticed that well i go in to this pawn shop five days a week on my way home from work and i just kind of go in to the, where the games dvds are get out of there well there were wii games so i filmed that and I get up there, and one of the workers said, hey, you didn't see that Pokemon Game Boy when you walked in? And I was like, no. He's like, hey, come over here. I, got, I put a good price on it. I figured you'd snag that. So we went over there. Wow. I didn't want to film because he was, you know, helping me out and whatever. And uh, I seen it was like, yep. Uh, yep. Yes, please. It was like 40 bucks. What's something. crazy is the back of it was a different color. Yeah. And it still sold for that much. Yeah, it was the the battery cover was, was purple, and the back of that is actually like a royal blue. Yeah, so but, it was... But, that's that was insane. Uh, yeah. man, Nintendo Wii guys, look for it. Yeah. Let's talk about this beer. This is a Barntown beer. Yeah. We love Barntown. This is no Takesies Baxies. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that name and I love this can art. I love the colors. It's yeah. neon y purpley. This is a West Coast IPA with Simcoe, Centennial, and Columbus 
hot. Christopher Karambish. Karambish hot. Uh, what do you think? I like it. It's a barn town beer. Uh, yep. This is a really just hearty IPA. It's not trying to do anything too no, fancy. What I like about this is it's straightforward. Yeah. It's crisp. It's delicious. It's smooth. It is what it is. It's just a straightforward. It is pretty piney. Yeah, there is a nice pine taste, but that could be because I sprinkled some of the Christmas tree in your glass. Yeah, oh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, but this this is really good. Yeah. It's just straightforward. It's not doing anything crazy. It's not trying to rewrite IPAs. And I kind of like that. They're they're not trying to get too complicated with it. Because Barntown kind of does get complicated, but yeah. they're good at complicating. Yeah, they're, so. they're very good at what they do. But to your point, this is kind of atypical for them because it's usually like this crazy experimental type of beer. And this isn't. Yeah, this is this is really good. This is a nice, easy, smooth drinker. Yeah. Great to sit by the Christmas tree with. Yeah, for sure. Guys, that is a wrap on hunting videos for 2021. Yes. We still have maybe a couple other videos that are going to be out, but we hope you've enjoyed not not only all of our videos, but it's in particular our hunting videos because we're trying to help you guys learn what we're learning. We're, we learn every day every week there's something one of us finds and we're like i had no idea that was worth that and it really means nothing more to us than when we get a comment and someone's like i would have never been looking for yeah. this until i saw your video and then i found it in the thrift store and yeah. made profit and like that's awesome we just had a comment where someone said i have added so much to my game room this year from the stuff i've learned in your guys hunting videos and that's what we're trying to do we're just trying to show you guys and teach you guys and help you guys that means way more to us than any amount of subs or views or whatever yeah. the fact that somebody found a way to fund their hobby and and build their stupid little game room <laughs> you know to their heart's desire that is freaking awesome stuff but keep your eyes peeled yes for the nintendo yes we it's out there uh we'll see you guys next time right here on gaming off the grid well guys hopefully you enjoyed not only this video but well guys hopefully you've enjoyed all of our hunting <laughs> videos Sorry. okay well guys hopefully hopefully <laughs> i think this is seven this is 11 11 this year we've yeah. done oh this year yeah this is 11 total yeah Oh my god, that's your wallpaper? Yeah. What the fuck? My work. <laughs> what the fuck? This is such a zoomed in photo, too. It's so fucked up. Just I bet you if you asked me on my deathbed, like, hey, if you had to go back and not ever have any Slim Jims and you could live for another year, would you do it? I'd probably say no. I'd say no. Let me have one more. <laughs> you take one bite and you croak. <laughs> there, there.